Hey everybody, welcome back to Projects with Paul. Today I'm going to do something a little different than I normally do. I'm going to set up my stock tank pool. And I'm going to show you guys how I do it and how you can make one of your own. So this is an 8 foot diameter, 2 foot deep plastic stock tank from Tractor Supply. And uh, we set this up last year. <clears throat> and we installed a, a pump with a filter. and the hoses and everything we need to make it run like a normal pool. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> get it set up for this year, for this summer, and I'll show you guys how I do it. What I had to do to set up the pump and the filter. And we'll get that started and I'll get back with you. Okay, the things you're going to need to purchase is a small pump with a filter. I believe I bought this one off Amazon. It's like a 1500 gallon per hour simple above ground pool pump filter system and it comes with the, the inlet and the outlet and the two hoses. It does not come with these two shutoff valves which you need to add so when you change the filter you don't drain the pool out. So those are just a simple on off valve and those are I don't know 10 or 12 bucks a piece not too bad and then you're gonna need a two and three quarter inch hole saw for these holes let's see if I can get it in there two and three quarter inch now additionally you will need a floater for the chlorine tablets, a jug of one inch chlorine tablets, thermometer if you choose to have one. That's the drain plug for the pool. The pool comes with that. It comes with the necessary gaskets and some extra filters. These are pretty cheap at Walmart. And skimmer net. Get all the trash out of there. Leaves, bugs. So I'm going to get set up here and put this thing together. Okay, I'm back. I got all the valves hooked up. The uh, outlet valve has a little air spout with a cap. So if you want bubbles, you take the cap off. If you don't want bubbles, you put the cap on. That simple. Just a little lanyard I made so I don't lose the cap. Okay, the outlet goes to the filter. And the inlet goes to the pump. Pretty simple. And then I have this bench that I made. And it's going to sit over top of the pump and the hoses to kind of hide everything. And it gives you a place to sit, put your feet in. So let me get that all set up and then we'll start filling her up. Okay, here's the setup so far. You see the bench, it covers the, the hoses and the pump. Gives you a little protection. And it's a nice place to sit. Throw your feet over there. And all we got left is to install the drain plug. It's got a 
looks like a half inch drive ratchet there so you can get it good and tight but I do recommend putting some Teflon tape on there and it just screws in from the outside pretty simple and I've also got some pool noodles that go around the edge here cover that edge up keep you from burning yourself when it gets hot but anyway that's all there is to it it's a 625 gallon polyethylene tank uh, it's made for livestock so it's pretty durable it's expensive it's 450 bucks so I probably have about 600 in it total with the pump and the extra valves the bench material but it turned out nice uh, I'll get it filled up and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards okay I got the pool filling up with water and while that's filling up I was going to mention why I bought a poly tank versus a galvanized metal tank and the reason is uh, number one I think it looks nicer and it's lighter weight and it stays cooler so if you touch the plastic it's not as hot as the metal tanks get um, some people try to paint the inside of the metal tanks but that gets expensive and then you're right up to where the cost of the poly tank is so and what I do in the winter time is after I drain it I put my pump and hoses and all the valves I put that stuff in the shed and I flip the pool over and that just keeps leaves and bugs and debris out of it it makes it easy to store and it's only like 85 pounds so it's not too hard to turn over so anyway we'll get this filled up and uh, we'll turn the pump on and see it in action here operational now. Looking good. We'll get the chlorine floater in there and put some tablets in it. And that should do it. Got my pool noodles on there. I just split them down the middle, put them around the edge. Makes it nice when you're climbing in over the side. I'll put this cord and plug underneath the plastic cover to keep it out of the weather. Seems to work pretty good. There you have it. Thanks for watching my stock tank pool video. And uh, if you like my channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks for watching Projects with Paul. 